If you're editing your video inside of Adobe Premiere Pro and it's lagging, it's being slow, it's just freezing on you and you're having a really tough time, then there is something that you can do. And I'm talking about it in this video. Now, before I get into the how, I'm just going to talk about the what. A proxy is essentially just a low resolution copy of your footage. So if you've got a video clip that is 10 gigabytes, you could create a proxy that is much smaller in file size. So maybe it's only around 100 megabytes in size. And by doing this, it means you can work with the low resolution copy and then export the original media. It does sound complicated, but let me show you how to do that. Now, at the moment, I'm working with the original footage, which is very difficult for the computer to work with. So the computer's having a hard time playing this. So instead, I'm going to create a proxy. In order to do that, I just select these two video clips. We're going to right click, go to proxy and select create proxies. And that will load this menu. And this is where you can change the settings. So we can change the format from H.264 to QuickTime, whichever you prefer. I'm just going to go for QuickTime in this example. Then you can set the preset. Now, as you can see, when I select the preset, you can see I can select ProRes medium resolution, ProRes high resolution. There's loads there. And if you've got a higher video clip, then you'll even see the option to have a low resolution proxy. Now, if this is the option you're going for, then I'm just going to go for ProRes medium resolution proxy. Alternatively, if you are on H.264, you can just select H.264 medium resolution proxy or low res if you get that option. Then you can just go to destination and you can select next to original media in a proxy folder or you can get really specific, which is what I'm going to do. I'm going to place this onto the desktop. I can select the folder, press OK, and this will load up Adobe Media Encoder. So Adobe Media Encoder is required for this process. But if you are subscribed to the Adobe Creative Cloud plan, then having Media Encoder shan't be a problem for you. Before we carry on with this video, let me please just take a second to talk about Motion Elements. Motion Elements is an online platform where you can download Premiere Pro and After Effects templates. You can download presets for Notion. You can download stock video. You can download stock images music files there's so much for you to access and so much for you to download so it's a really powerful website and it's a great tool for us creatives to have now motion elements have kindly sponsored this channel so as a special thank you they have given you a very kind discount on your first month when you are subscribed to their plan and as always you can find the link to this in the description below now Back to the video. So as you can see, Media Encoder has successfully created those proxies. Now, in order to get these proxies to work, you want to enable this button here. And by default, you might not see that. So inside of Premiere, you want to navigate to this button editor here. So press the plus button, and then you want to find this icon here. This is the toggle proxies button. We're just gonna drag this down onto this toolbar next to the screenshot button and press okay. Then you just want to press this to enable the proxies and you can see by doing so when we turn it on you get this blue proxy icon and when we turn it off it is white. So when it's white we are viewing the original media and when it is blue we are viewing the proxy. Now with the proxy enabled you can go through and make all of the changes that you want to make so you can cut down your videos, you can add your effects, you can add your animation, do some keyframe animation, everything else that you would normally do all the way up until the point of color correction. Now, when you hit your color correction and your color grading phase, you just want to make sure that your proxies are turned off because you don't have to worry about playback speed at this point and you want to be working with the original files when you're doing color work. So once you get up to color, turn the proxies off and then you can just do coloring and then export with them turned off. And that is essentially it. So in a proxy workflow, you're making copies of your original media. You're editing with those low resolution copies. And then when you get to coloring and export, you're going back to the original media and everything will link seamlessly. So proxies are a really great way of editing. If your computer is not super powerful, you have a really intense and footage heavy edit, or maybe you're working on a laptop or somewhere remote and you just don't have the computing power. So if you haven't considered a proxy workflow and you're having a hard time with your footage, then I would really recommend doing a proxy workflow next time you're editing a video. So hopefully this video was helpful. And if you learned something, then please consider pressing subscribe or checking out another video. I have a playlist just up here with loads of other Premiere Pro videos. So I'll see you there.